and welcome to our show, Geeks Are Wired Podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. And this week, we have Joe. That's right. <laughs> I'm back. I'm going to try and be more regular from now on. <laughs> well, it's also better than last week, I told you. Yeah, that's right. Well, last Joe. week was my birthday. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, I guess it was two ago. Yeah. I called you Joden. Yeah, exactly. Or Jordan. <laughs> I know. Maybe Jordan will eventually come back. He's traveling around. I He's know. the college man. Haven't you had other co-hosts to get sucked into the college void? Yeah. I actually, Well, I, I had college. <laughs> that's where yeah. I started. It. <laughs> and then when don't have Alex because... Of Joe or <laughs> I was of the Jordan, of Jordan. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're all hanging out in Seattle. And then the the Thanksgiving break, so we lose more co-hosts. Mm-hmm. Everyone's prepping for the day of holidayness. I know I have it easy. All we're making is green bean casserole, and I have to drive somewhere, so I don't have any prep work. Exactly. Same yeah. here. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting good a lot of that too. Uh that's good. Yeah. That's not bad. Just having the two of us. Yeah, it's not the first time you've had your just the two of us before. Yeah, I've almost had the just me. Yeah, <laughs> 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 been able to pull that one. You know, avoid that one. <laughs> it's been awkward. But actually, I, there may be an episode out there of just me. Like thinking about trying this out. Let me know. No one ever responded. Never did it again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'll be like, never mind. I might delete that one one day once I figure out which one it is. <laughs> it's like the five minute episode out there. Yeah, I sort through all of them. Yeah. It's like, I have news. No, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Doesn't work the same without. Of course, a little snippet of news. It's like, here's stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And now, they've. Um, yeah, this would be a good weekend, though. That's what I was going to tell you. Already, because this is the interesting thing, too, is I found out everyone was advertising $200 PlayStation 4s. And then I went to GameStop and found out today um, that, that it's yeah that it's just a Sony sale. So people all week could have just been getting their two hundred dollar PlayStation. So if you're one of those people that I would have been, which is like the four a.m. or yeah. freezing outside of your random local retail store, yeah, you could have just gone mm-hmm. in on like a Monday afternoon apparently mm-hmm. and gotten one. Yeah, that, that, actually, there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> Was it, um, I'm looking at doing the Thanksgiving morning stuff, and also because of that and some of, you know, with the holiday and not wanting to worry about, the pod, we might release the podcast early. Mm-hmm. Be surprised. Yeah. I don't even know if I'm doing that yet. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe after, like, being all stuffed after Thanksgiving, like, ah, I'm post. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Me stop posting this. <laughs> so don't even edit it. Just send it in. Yeah. <laughs> Completely back. It's good enough. Good. Uh, background <laughs> noise and all. <laughs> you so, to- yeah. So, that's cool. And I don't know if that applies to any other things out there because they just said it was like a Sony thing, but I don't know if like Microsoft is doing something equivalent. All I know is I originally just saw a bunch of consoles on sale and then found out that it's not even the store. It's just Sony's like, hey, sell this for 200 bucks for a week. Well, I know there's a lot of equipment uh, GameStop wide that's um, buy two, get one. So basically, you're getting three at reduced price. Mm-hmm. So I've been here and, or for a used product. I should emphasize that. But there's already switches in. Yeah, that's true. It's not bad. So you can, get, you can upgrade your consoles or you can do whatever. Mm-hmm. Share with friends. Go in with friends. Yeah, like I said, I gotta, I'm going to see if I can ride out this generation just being a PlayStation man. Good luck. Because <laughs> I used just to don't have... get a Bethesda game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, you said you were you were thinking about getting uh, was it Doom and Wolfenstein? Or was it, aren't one of those Bethesda now? They're both are Bethesda. Oh well, guess you're not going to survive very long. <laughs> I know, but I heard PlayStation Four finally it works better because I couldn't play one on <laughs> PS3 that wouldn't crash all the time. Or two, or yeah. The best was Wolfenstein where I couldn't get past the menu screen. It's just like, are you ready? <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> Enjoy your $60. I know. I don't think it was like, it was the used one, but the disc looked totally fine, so I don't know what it was. Yeah. But I've heard. I'll let you guys know. Pick up Wolfenstein 2, maybe try out that. And see if it actually plays. It'll also be the <laughs> menu screen. I'll be like, uh. Good luck. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> wish you the luck. 
Uh, I'm sticking with my PC and Xbox. Yeah, it's, well, the main reason is because um, The Last of Us, Bill, you miss out on the Naughty Dog games. Mm. The Last of Us 2 is going to be a masterpiece. If I only own like 10 games, guaranteed that's going to be one of them. Yeah, but see, if I was to own 10 games, all of mine will work because most of them are Bethesda. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is the <laughs> irony because those were the ones that came to mind. I know you're like, if I, I was had like, I want to get the uh... first Wolf and Sign, see if it'll play, and then yeah, Fallout Four. <laughs> there you go. I'm like all Bethesda, whatever. Yep. You're like, bump. <laughs> you know, I was like, so I ha- I have some Naughty dog, dog dog games, and then a bunch of Bethesda games. We mm-hmm. hope these things continue. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. And that would be good. <laughs> and then I think the the Tomb Raider games too. Those aren't Bethesda. You're right. They're Microsoft. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they have them on PlayStation too, though. Do they have? To, you guys did they get finally them first? get the new one on it? I think so. I saw okay. it advertised because I think the way they do it is that it's exclusive to Xbox for like a year, and then PlayStation gets it. Well, I actually, you you will get the demos first. Yeah. <laughs> Just to tease you <laughs> yes. while everyone else is playing their full versions. Well, that didn't. That's what happened last one. It was going to be released as a demo, about a year later, Microsoft got it, and then. Pu- push it out for their stuff, and then just didn't care about Sony. <laughs> <laughs> then was like, w- "What? <laughs> like I Microsoft know. didn't even get the demo; they just got the game, <laughs> the full like, version." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was awesome. No, I think yeah. I actually got that one for free. It'd be good times, but for the most part, um, it's just my media center. I mostly mm-hmm. just watch movies and stream stuff through it. Yeah, so. that's why I'm really sad that Microsoft's dropping the Kinect. I know that it means my next, you know, because I'm moving into PC gaming more. Mm-hmm. So it means my next entertainment system thing is going to be probably a Raspberry Pi that I'm gonna plug into the back. <laughs> 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 you can play anything I want, mm-hmm. I or anything that Linux plays, I guess. Yeah, that's true. Or Windows Mobile. I don't know. <laughs> Whichever. I don't know what I'm putting on it yet. I've been board gaming a lot too. That's been fun. There's been some good sales. I know. I'm going to look for that. I got uh, I got Doom the board game. I haven't learned it yet, but it looks pretty cool. It has really cool miniatures. Do you have to paint them? You could if you wanted to. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm ah. going to keep them in their bland uh, tan and navy oh, blue. Off, off gray the, color. Yeah, for the Marines. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you could. You can get your little tiny paintbrush and do it. Well, you, no, you, you spray them first. Put a base coat on, and then you start painting. Put the details. Yeah, they look pretty sweet. Definitely, you could paint them. Mm-hmm. I just I don't have the steady hand of a surgeon to do it. Practice. Yeah. <laughs> I'll butcher a couple <laughs> like imps or whatever, and be like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> People will be like, what happened to that one? Be like, yeah, I tried to paint it and gave up. <laughs> it's like, but only his head's painted. Yeah. See, at least you also they're they're cleaner nowadays because. Like like early Warcraft or all or not Warcraft. Oh, the Warhammer. Yeah, Warhammer. You actually had to get an Exacto knife and clean up where they didn't seal it up quite right, or ah. the molds weren't quite properly put together. So you had to clean up your miniatures before you could. But yeah, they've they've spent so much time and money on making sure their molds are very very perfect. Mm-hmm. Like I think I was hearing. Uh, they got their miniature. Uh, the average miniature price is like fifty cents to make. Okay. So there's a massive that. markup. Yeah. But they have also taken all that money that people have been paying to make sure their miniatures are that amazing. Yeah. So even though they are overall that cheap, they've spent lots and time and money to make sure. That makes sense. It's probably why Doom was a little more pricey than other ones because i got it and it's this huge like about a foot long bag that's just stacked with miniatures it's <laughs> like oh there we go eh. there's the price i don't know there was one that <laughs> just the uh, kickstarter that just ended for like two hundred dollars you got somewhere around a thousand miniatures wow. <laughs> yeah so it depends on how much you know how much they can make and stuff like that but they you know they were constantly hitting these hey if we get enough people we're just going to make sure to make these yeah it's that... a ridiculous game it's like joan of arc Game? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I actually almost. I was really close to jumping around that because that game should, if, once it hits shelves, that is not going to be remotely that cheap for that much stuff. Mm-hmm. That's true. And like, like the dragon that was like two feet wingspan, no foot, 
maybe a foot and a half wingspan. It was huge. Like the biggest dragon, period. $60. Dang. Considering the one that's like teeny tiny is usually around 500 <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, there's quite the yeah stuff. <laughs> now the... You know, I'm trying to think of a couple other ones. There's a few that came out too. I think like the a lot of them were like Kickstarter. Kickstarter is like putting out the good board games. Mm-hmm. There's another one that I've heard that's like Terraforming Mars. That's supposed to be really good. Huh. They're competing that. like, um, what is it? Corporations who are trying to build little settlements on Mars, and then collectively you're like bringing up the level of like oxygen and everything too. So that's what it kind of measures, and then whoever kind of has the best. Uh, developments it's supposed so, to be good kind of like a settlers of Catan almost yeah the only thing i heard negative about it was that's why i might wait for like a next printing of it is that they said some of the pieces are kind of flimsy uh, but everything like about the game is supposed to be outstanding and even that's like kind of eh, i'm just kind of hesitant because it is more on the pricey side so i was like well if you're gonna spend all that money i don't want to risk that some of it is kind of poorly made well, yeah concerned there's been some bad mm-hmm stuff that's really that flimsy thing. and stuff so i don't know yeah but we'll see but i hear good things about it and that one i think was a product of kickstarter but i could be making that up too so don't yeah. hold me to that i don't know i just got <laughs> um uh labyrinth did you remember playing labyrinth the the maze shifts around and no th- uh well okay we'll have to play it yeah somebody brought it over to play it one time it was on sale. It's like a normally like a thirty-five dollar game on Amazon. It was like fourteen bucks. Okay, so I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah, that is really good. Thinking about being a Christmas present, turn it into let's just open it now. Mm-hmm. So it came in like the coffin size Amazon box for this Monopoly size box game. I mean, you know, the game's a lot, but still, the game box itself is not that big. The shipping box, you could definitely, I could definitely <laughs> put in here. <laughs> yeah, there's, I don't know. I'll have to look for a few. I might pick up a couple. That might be other Black Friday items. We'll yeah. See. Um, oh, also, if I do release this early, hopefully, maybe even Wednesday night. Uh, also, and all the cool stuff. Get your Black Friday stuff ready. I recommend Slick Deals. It's a website. It's an app. It's all of that jazz, and you can have no if you put it on your phone you get uh or even if you sign into your account you if you put it on your phone you can have notifications pop up on your phone hey this is on sale right now that's how i got a free amazon echo ah, okay. just knew about i almost got more but i saw it after it had been posted for a half hour the and because amazon misprices things more often mm-hmm they fix it within the half hour if i would have literally been minutes earlier if i would have noticed it and just ran for it I heard about people getting like seven of them. Wow. For free. Sh- free shipping. Free am- <laughs> I'm like, that's a $50 item. And they have to honor it. I'm, Amazon honored it. Yeah. They strip. They didn't even like argue about it. They're like, here, whatever. That's and, funny. Yeah. Amazon's really good. If they misprice it, they honor it. <laughs> so it's a really good way to like get notifications from some of that stuff. And it's that's why you set it up so you get the notification so you don't miss those type of deals. If you don't want to be like on cutting edge or try to like... Uh, filter out certain things because sometimes you know you're like oh amazon echo and then you start having stuff like this works with amazon echo well that's Mm -hmm. not an amazon echo i don't care about it so sometimes you have to filter out some of that personally uh then you can just wait for front page deals okay uh those pop up on your phone once in a while or you get emailed and if you don't put it on your phone you get the email notifications yeah that's pretty cool i like the i actually like less in my email and more the pop-up notification i'm like okay great, great yep or, you know, sometimes I'll scroll through and I'm like, nope, 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 nope. Okay, yeah, that one. Or just clear them all. Don't care. Yeah, I do have to get that because that is good because, uh, yeah, online shopping is way more convenient. Because I'll say the only reason I even enjoy some Black Friday is just the, the human behaviorism part of me. True. Because most of the time I don't even, like, buy that much stuff. It's just fun to, like, watch people being... Fill up being a Being interesting cart. people to yeah. put it... <laughs> yeah. No, no, right right. You fill up a cart with stuff. Mm-hmm. You walk it up to the front of the store, get in line, and then walk away. Yeah. <laughs> just let it happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nor what happened. You just did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's definitely. Uh, what's, you know, mine. Um, well, even like this, uh, you can get the Google Mini for $29, and then you get a $25 Walmart card that's good through the Google Express because Walmart and Google are working together. So technically, you're buying the Google Mini for four dollars, 
that deal goes good at midnight Thanksgiving morning or 6 p.m. in the brick and mortar Walmart store. Okay. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that's, why would I leave my comfy computer mm-hmm. chair? Plus, you know, I'll spend, I'll go get my Morrowind finally, 50% off, get my extra mounts. You know, my, it's a tuxedo bear. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, there's all that. I know. And um, so what what do they do, Bill? Because the only thing I've automated is a Nest thermostat, which is kind <laughs> of cool because I can adjust the temperature from my phone and it's like a little more aware because I used to have the ghetto one that's just like... Oh, you, you have the thermostat. You... I thought you had the, the um, what's it called? The smoke detector. No. That makes way more sense. Never mind about what I was saying earlier about... Okay. The Echo B. Scratch that completely now. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I was waiting for you because... Uh, to actually realize what I was showing you. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Because that's context. Bill and I were talking about the Nest, and he, and he had me worry that in a few months, mine would just start going crazy <laughs> for some reason. And I was like, so far, it's been good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I had a... Ne- yeah. So when I hear Nest, I, I forget. That's just the overall brand. I don't think about them. In it. So... I, you have the Nest thermostat. I, I have. Know a, they made other stuff. They do. They make tons of stuff. They're oh, actually okay. really getting the bit. Google's pushing a lot of stuff into home automation with it. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, if your phone popped up. Oh, I thought I was like recognized the voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I have the smoke detector. I have a friend who has the. Or I got a, wi- a battery powered and a wired slash battery powered one. The wired one went off at two o'clock in the morning. One morning. Nothing. No problem. No nothing. There was nothing going on. I'm like, so I have to tear it off the ceiling, or get a chair, tear it out of the ceiling, find a screwdriver, open it up so I can pull up the backup batteries. <laughs> I'm like, why? This is a pain. And plus, it told the other one to go off, so I have to go tell it to be quiet now. Uh, our dog's freaking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's freaking out. I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, find out it's a common issue with the wired ones when I Googled it. I have another friend who's had them for longer. He's not had any issues. I'm like, oh, okay. So, yes, your Nest thermostat. Okay, that's the other thing. You did not buy it used, correct? No. Brand new? Great. Never. Do not. That is one of the <laughs> items. Do not buy a Nest thermostat used. They have a known issue that if somebody can open it up and put in a, a, mess, a mess with it, puts in a back door, it causes tons of issues. A lot of smart things don't buy used. Some of them you can because they're not the smart. Yeah. You know, they don't have a lot of stuff with them. They're just kind of simple on-off switches or stuff like that or sensors, basic sensors. The Nest thermostat has so much built into it. That is definitely one thing. Do not buy used. No, that makes sense. Now, we got a pretty good deal on that too. And I like it so far because it is really handy. Good. Because it's, I like that it, it recognizes your phone when you're home or not too and yeah. it'll kind of adjust and then it... And I, I do notice a change, too, that my furnace isn't running as much as it did before, and the air conditioning, too, because we got it towards the tail end of the summer. Nice. Okay, so that you also can work with other Nest items or other uh, items, like with the I have the Samsung one, and a lot of those have, like, the motion d- sensor and the door sensors also have thermostat sensors ah. built into them, so they can also pick up. Um, do they play nice together? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Some things you have to, like, integrate different ways to make them work together. Some things don't. Currently, Samsung and Nest don't quite work together, but that might be more on Google's side than on Samsung's. But Samsung is trying... If Samsung does work with lots and lots of things. Um, now, also, there's the wireless, how it, co- how it connects to all these things. There's You can... If you have a smart home, and especially if you're or you're build working on your smart home, and if you're like well, doing your basement, you could have wired smart devices. Okay. Um, some of the older technology. I have a friend who absolutely loves that. Means, hey, I don't care what was going through the air. I can tell my computer change that, or I can tell my phone to change that. I'm sending one wireless signal to the hub, and it tells everything else through the wires. So that can be nice. Wireless. You have all these different, they're all transmitting differently, so they should not be slabbing into each other. Uh, uh, you know, on your opinion of how many wireless things are we have around us, like the idea if we could see in that van, just be gray <laughs> everywhere. <Yeah. laughs> um, 
So the Samsung Smart Things works with uh, wireless or Wi-Fi. Um, it works with some Echo Bees because Echo Bee is not fully set with the standard yet. Okay. And Z-Wave. And Z-Wave is a very is has a set standard is, is one of the more current popular ones. Well, Echo Bee and Z-Wave are kind of current popular. A lot of stuff actually does have Wi-Fi. Um, there's a new one coming up. It's called um, Thread. Apparently, it's going to be a big thing at the CES this okay. next year. It works on an IPv6 setup, which uh, and it also has a mesh thing, a uh, mesh setup. So it can, you know, it transmits to the next thing to then transmit on and on. So you have these little, you have these little hops. Um, certain things don't transmit as far. You can also have devices have Bluetooth. So you have all these little things working together to get my Nest and my Samsung together. You can have these in between things like if this then that or if. Okay. That is free online. So you have if integration. Okay. Um, so it's like, oh, if my house, and you know, I have a thermostat that does, you know, it has its own system. And I've told it, hey, be these temperatures at these times. But it's kind of been bumped off to the side by my home automation going, if I'm home, when I come home, change. When I leave, you know, don't lower the temperature as low because I'm not home. Yeah. Or don't keep it as hot or as cold or whatever it is. You know, if I'm gone, I, I, I just need the house not to freeze during the winter or not to roast during the summer. Mm-hmm. You know, I, you know, if I didn't leave anything behind, any living things behind or anything like that, then just, okay, just don't burn down or freeze. Great. <laughs> it's like, you, you got, got this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got this house. And then you have motion sensors and you have door sensors and you have cameras and uh, cameras are also a pro con with a lot of these smart devices. Outdoor ones, great. You can see things, see what's going on around your house, stuff like that. Not bad. Your neighbors might think they're a little weird, mm-hmm. but it's starting to become a little more common, so your neighbors might not think you're as weird. <laughs> yeah, you just don't want to be the first one. Yeah, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> or you just go, it's just a smart house. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, oh, you're that. You're cool. You yeah. want to see all this. Yeah. I know. <laughs> um, Oh, the other thing about Samsung is they initially you have to have internet for it to work. Later this week, there's supposed to be an update for the version two Samsungs, which is really the only you can, or uh, smart things, which is really the only you can get for the hubs. Okay. That can store things locally. All of your do this at this time or do that at that time. You know, turn on the coffee pot at five thirty. Go. That will work. If turn on co- or turn off lights at sunset or turn on lights at sunset, that won't work because it wants to reach out and grab the time that the sun's supposed to set. Oh. And I kind of have an awkward feeling about that because I'm like, we're not talking about something very complicated here. We literally know when the sun is going to rise and going to set mm-hmm. till the end of time. Yeah. Like that is, that is not a complicated, maybe it's complicated for this little device to have. But then you go, okay, store a week's worth of basic information. Is that too much? Store today's. Yeah, and store update to- off of that. Yeah. yeah. If you can't update, use the last known good. Because mm-hmm. you're dealing about minutes at that point. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then you really could just go like a couple weeks and then kind of update it because it does kind of add up as we are not awkward like it's getting darker now. But yeah. like you said, you can easily get away with a week. Oh, yeah. It doesn't really make a difference. But but you're gonna be without the internet for that long? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I know. When they had so what else does like the the like the Google Home do for my house then? Well, you want, okay. Like if I get <laughs> one, because right now that's all I have as far as the smart thing in my house. So Is, oh I no, get, you like, don't have the home. You have the Nest. Yeah, I get the Nest, but that's what I mean. What if I get like the home? What oh, so you do? want an assistant now? And what is <laughs> yeah? What does my assistant do besides like add inappropriate things to my shopping cart? No, 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 that, that, that's, uh, <laughs> it's only when your friends named Joe and Jordan stand yeah. next to your Alexa <laughs> and tell her, hey, <laughs> that is South Park's fault. They did a whole episode of that. Yeah. That was and that's, good. that's all I got out of it as I was like, it's humorous when you keep all of those and then you can have them try and talk to each other mm-hmm. and just repeat back very inappropriate things. Yeah. Besides that, I'm like, what does it do for your house? So okay. So you can tell it. Okay, the the nice thing about assistants is right now, like, 
uh, Apple's has been was supposed to come out during the holiday season. Mm -hmm. It has been held off till at least early 2018 because the Siri assistant or your home is probably too much like what's on the phone, and they technically need to be a little bit different because they have different priorities. Okay. Microsoft is kind of having the same problem by putting so much of their Windows 10. Oh, and like the Cortana and yep. stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of so-so with that and how they're kind of getting it. Google is realizing that your phone and your assistant kind of need to have different ideas and how they work and what's sto locally stored and things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Alexa, they just... Or Madam A... I, I like calling her Madam A because it doesn't trigger her by accident. Because <laughs> um, Google requires more words. Cortana requires more words. I will laugh if, like, the name Alexa just starts dying out just because parents don't want to mess with it anymore. Yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> too weird. They're like, they're changing their name. They're like, but mom, I've been Alexa. They're like, sorry, nope. go by Lexi or it's <laughs> over. Yep. <laughs> um, all right. Um, so, okay, well, I guess we'll go with Google, like you were talking about. Uh, you can actually even, well, actually quite a few of them are still, you can just, uh, Google especially, if you have a Google phone, add stuff to my list. Okay. Add, or, or add stuff to my shopping list. Add, uh, a, accept this appointment. Um, what I love with uh, my Madame is, hey, especially, you know, hey, set a timer. My hands are dirty. I am cooking something. I just threw it in the oven, or I just did something. I need a timer right now. Okay. And she works really well. She was in the back corner of the living room, and she worked really, really well. Kind of quiet. I turned the vol. I uh, figured I turned the volume up. So the other thing is also once you set the volume on Alexa compared to or Madam A compared to Google, Madam A is set. Google goes, "Hey, the sun's down." I should probably not be screaming at you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, you know, it's, there's some of that. Yeah. Hopefully, Madame A picks that up and mm -hmm. gets going. Uh, but I moved Madame A closer to the TV, and it's starting to have the same problem that my Xbox does when I'm listening to TV. It goes like, I didn't hear you. Like, unless I'm in the same room as it, like, I can't be hollering around the corner. Like, hey, Madame A, 10 minute timer. Mm hmm. Straight up, didn't even catch it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. But before I, I, I'd be around the corner because it's far enough away from the. Even with the, the TV making noise, yeah, I'm listening to music. I'm doing whatever, far enough away. And it runs through the internet too, right? Correct. So you can go like, you can be like the commercials, be like, Google, give me some smooth jazz. Yeah. I, oh, that's <laughs> okay, that, uh, that's the other thing about the pros and cons. Um, the is what services do you like? Do you want, what type of music do you want to use? Uh, if you have a Prime account, you have some music through um, Amazon or through the uh, Madame. If you could sign up for their music account, you have more of the unlimited. You set up for like the fifteen dollar Google Family account when you have six people on it. Your Madame is worthless, and now you want Google. Oh, okay. Um, but there's also the you know back and forth. You know how much of this. How much are you in of each of them? There's a speaker system. Going to have to look it up because I just barely heard about it, and I might talk about it maybe next week more once I get more information. Currently works with, uh, and it's two hundred dollars. It it is a good um, speaker on its own. Okay, works with Madame A currently. They are planning on making it work with Google early next year. So which means you will have two assistants in one device. Okay, and so basically, too, I could see it evolving where they're just kind of like with newer houses or even older houses that you can just install it, almost like the sci-fi shows where it's just installed like through an audio system throughout the house, so mm -hmm. any room you can just be like, hey, house, and then it goes, hello, Joe. Yeah. Well, yeah. actually, Alexa has a lot with that, too. Um, you set them up, you, you, and you group them together. These are the living room metamaze. These are the oh, bedroom metamaze. okay. Metamaze's. I was wondering that, and you can just plant them around, yep. but they all like are on the same account. Yep. Okay. And that's I think it's also why the minis came around and stuff like that. So they're making, and I I do admit I kind of like the look of the hockey puck over the, of the the cloth, yeah item. <laughs> I'm like, uh, that's like I look at the speaker, but also the speaker even without the assistance plays pretty much every music 
yeah, out there. So that's a good thing. Um, also, your integration with your televisions. That that's one of my things. I'm my home entertainment console. Yeah. Cor- yeah, they're yeah. You know, Microsoft is dropping the Connect, which means my voice commands are now pretty much or with yeah. After my the, from now for, unless I get the adapters or anything for the next generation consoles or anything, like now they're basically they're gone. It's been mediocre as it was. I yeah. hollered at Cortana. <laughs> no, just like, like Xbox, turn yeah. it down. Yeah, yeah. And I even went to Cortana hoping that they would put <laughs> where they've been putting so much into Windows 10, hoping, hey, Xbox is basically the Windows 10, but mm-hmm. an altered version. Maybe this version of Cortana. No, it felt kind of. <laughs> I'm like, why? Um, so, the, yeah, then you, with the home automation stuff, you can go. Um, Madame A, good night. And then turns off your lights. Okay. Or starts dimming things down. Um, especially if you start working with hue lights. Oh, hue lights. That's the other thing, actually. If you get a hue, uh, there is TV shows and movies that work with hue lights. So, especially if you get the ones that change, actually change colors, don't just dim and bright. Mm-hmm. It'll actually change colors. Like Sharknado, apparently. Oh, yeah. like <laughs> when there's the attack, the lights will turn red. So it, it's more of like an enhancement, you know, but it also apparently works very seamlessly. Like, it, it's corny for like, yeah. especially Sharknado. For other movies, it might not be nearly as corny. Sharknado is corny, but it works very, very well. So which means if you could like set up a theme or a, a, something with this, it would work out. There's apparently some TV shows out there that... You go like yes, the integrate work together, and you're like wow, this is. I feel <laughs> a little more involved with this. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Um, I don't, know, uh, I don't know. Oh yeah, the TVs. Um, Amazon uh, Fire Stick cannot play YouTube anymore. It cannot play your Google Play. Uh, I forget. There's a few other things it doesn't have. Google will not play your Amazon stuff. Ah, yeah, so you you have to start going which one. Um, I feel like one of them, somebody out there doesn't play HBO Go, um, which is another big thing. I'm like, yeah, not, so I've, I've integrated, I, even though I've got my movie collections throughout all these places, mm-hmm. I'm like, you guys need to work together. Roku is the one that works with the most. They've been around the longest. They work with the most if you don't want to program your own. If you don't want to go out and get a Raspberry Pi and turn it into a home, which I've looked at, because then you install Linux on it, you install Windows 10 Raspberry Pi version, and you just play it from that. It's just a mini computer, low power oh, okay. usage. So you've made your own. It's possible. Yeah. Um, and you just have to figure out, you know, or you set up how to control it. Hmm. So uh, if you, if you uh, want to be all, all Apple, Apple actually has a decent setup too. Uh, obviously, they're going to have things against Google if you're more into your all your Apple stuff. But like so they're they're very tight on security, and I think that's what's slowing down them down somewhat. Is all of that? So yeah, I know. I'll have to see because I'll I'll evolve that way slowly yeah. but surely. Um, what else? There's there was one company. Um, I forget who recently just. Uh, shut down a seven year or generated it to brick a smart thing that changed signals from Wi Fi to RF so they could control your TV. Okay. They are going to brick it in March. It's a two hundred dollar device. They're going to brick <laughs> because they're not going to support it anymore, and they don't want it to be a backdoor issue into your system. Okay. There was a lot of lawsuits getting ready to be brought up against them. They decided to give you the ne- the next generation one for free, no matter okay. how long you bought, how long ago you bought it, because the device that they're getting ready to brick, you can still go buy. Oh, I see. Yeah. and then it just makes it worthless. Yeah, it's gonna make it worthless in like months, and also within a year, usually some of those electronics are like, well, no, you should. This is kind of a major electronic, so it also came brought up. How is this gonna do with future ones? Because how long is the? It's like our cell phones. How long are you going to support this? Google said that they're going to support devices for uh, four years. Mm-hmm. Very much. I think it's four years, uh, full setup, six years of security. Okay. Okay, we know about this. But we're probably going to replace it like three times before that point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, Apple kind of has the same thing with some of their stuff where they 
start pushing so much, you literally cannot hold your any more information on your phone. So mm-hmm. you actually kind of forced to upgrade. Yeah, actually, Google can do the same, really. So there's, you know, I know that's but, true. They're all you can tell they're all watching each other. They're trying to like get their own little camps, but they're moving together because you don't want to be like too far ahead or start falling behind. Yeah, it's a weird little balancing act. Um, and then there's uh, assistants. I think it's one called Joey. Uh, they they for the last five years they've been working on their stuff, and they are releasing the software, but they're not. Doesn't look like they're doing a lot with the hardware. They're totally different assistants. Uh, but yeah, for the simplest, I would say the simplest, most coverage for a hub, because you mm-hmm. need to usually get the hubs, it would probably go with Samsung's. Okay. And there could be tons of them. So if you're absolutely not wanting to go with that, because it, it also works with lots of things. There's lots of integration. It doesn't work with everything, but there's a good chunk of integration. Mm-hmm. Um, the... Um, Echo uh, Plus that was just released has a hub built into it. So if you want to really go towards Amazon stuff. Oh, you can keep with that. Okay. Yeah. And there's works with uh, quite a bit. But there's also, it won't work with Z-Wave items, but they'll work with some of the Echo B. Uh, the reason I say, ah. they say they work with Echo B. Like I said, Echo B does not have a set standard. Yeah. So they only work with some as it is. Okay. So there's a lot of that. Um, what's, oh, there's actually a TV. I was really excited. The uh, Aquios. It has. Um, it is a or the Sharp Aquios. It has Google or Android TV built into it, so you can play your games. You can do all your stuff. Ah. Um, in it. Oh, where to go? Oh, that's the wrong one. You can. So you you have the Play Store. You have all this other stuff. You can play your games on it. But the thing I'm really excited about with this is apparently there is a okay, so you can buy a device through for Samsung Smart Things and plug into the back of this. If you don't want to buy the big hub, you can just plug into your TV and it becomes your hub. Okay. So you'll have Google Home and your hub. There's the question of how much you have to because your TV is kind of in this always ready mode, so should yeah, be, your TV might doesn't have to be on for this to work, but it's technically always in a kind of on <laughs> no like, that makes sense Yeah, as long as you don't yeah. like hit a power kill switch on it um also there's control of voice controls uh yeah voice search in the control the they're going to be releasing voice boxes that yeah uh, later so you can control your tv which can control all your other things so uh, yeah i guess it depends on how much of your system you know yeah, Spotify. So you have at least you have, and the nice thing about having a TV that has Google, um, or that it's more like a Google phone. So in order, at least it has the Play Store and all that. Mm-hmm. You kind of do open things back up again. You know, it's, you know, you get the Amazon. Well, actually, no, I, I forgot. I got downloaded that. Well, you might be able to then download it through an APK because. Google uh, Amazon Video is not in the Play Store, but if you get the Amazon Prime or Amazon Premium or whatever, it's it's an it's an alternate app. If you get that from them and you install it on your phone, then through the Amazon Store you can get Amazon Video. Oh, that's so interesting. yeah, so you yeah. can still kind of work around it. I you I can see that working with this. You just have to be able to install non uh, Play Store apps. And it wouldn't be really wouldn't be that hard probably. I could see you know so it has Chromecast built in. It has it has all sorts of things, which makes it nice instead of, and which is kind of like also the Roku ones that are out mm-hmm. there. There's TVs with Roku built in. Um, this one might be a little bit better because of so much tweakability. You know Roku, you're still stuck with their you know they do. They have more services than you could even ever think about using. Mm-hmm. At least with the Amazon TV one, you can kind of like, okay, well, I don't care about these, and I got these. And... But I've been hearing lots and lots of good about Yeah, this. I'll have to look out for that, because that'd be pretty cool. I actually thinking about getting one. It's fun the way all the TVs are evolving and all the different streaming services and stuff. Yeah. 
Especially where, you know, I'm not going to care about my... And Netflix, it's the powerhouse no matter what, because you'll just be dead on arrival if you don't support Netflix. Feels like <laughs> it. Well, except for this thing, same thing with YouTube. Yeah. So that's why it was such a big thing, because Google was like, hey, you need to, you know, it's the reason why a- uh, Amazon or Apple doesn't ha- uh, have or didn't have their maps for a while, mm-hmm. because they're like, you, it's our service. Mm-hmm. You can borrow it, but we are getting the information. And Apple's like, nope, we're starting our own. And we saw how that went with Apple, that nobody wanted to use their service because it sucked a lot. Yeah. And I'll admit, YouTube's big. YouTube isn't the only one out there, but YouTube is big. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's really big. So that's... And plus, where I have the YouTube Red family account. I know. Technology's fun. I think it's been 10 years since I bought like my first HD TV, and I still look <laughs> at that thing, and it makes me laugh. Because I was like... It was so sweet. It's so tiny now, too, but I felt like it's my movie theater. Yeah. And it can do anything, too, and you had to have... It didn't even have, like, HDMI support. I think it's when you had to get, like, the three video inputs. Like, oh, yeah. separate ones. The <laughs> RGB, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Um, yeah. It's, oh. like, the bridge between the old glass screen ones that weighed 5,000 pounds. <laughs> <CRTs>. <laughs> like, the yeah. standard now. Oh, yeah. I do like that, though. It would have been better for my back to live in this world because I had to, like, lift people's TVs when, back in, like, 2004. And I'm like, now you oh, can yeah. lift, like, a 60-inch TV. It weighs, like, half as much as the uh, 40-inch ones did. Oh, come on. You, you can, you can, <laughs> it's really funny when you can pick up, like, these ginormous TVs mm-hmm. and then put it, you know, you, you set it on the ground and then you pick up the uh, what it sets on. Yeah. If you, don't, if, it, if you haven't wall-mounted it... And even sometimes the Walmart's mounts are uh, heavy, but you pick up the the base that your your entertainment you know console mm-hmm. or whatever setup, and you're like, nope, we need five people for this thing. Yeah, <laughs> <I know. laughs> this thing is sturdy and it's going to hold a lot of stuff, and ah, it is it is heavy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't really smart things heavy. What did I answer all your questions though? Yeah, that okay. answers it. That does make more purposes besides just amusing jokes every now and then. It does have a purpose. Yeah. Now that's also if you don't want to get into it, like is it th- or get into the background or doing your own support and everything, because there is multiple software out there. Like get a Raspberry Pi, mm-hmm. throw this software on it, have it your own. There's multiple out there. I I just found another one. Gonna kind of look into it. Uh, uh, there's but, okay, but the other fun thing about them, and also oh, the other thing about Samsung, I forgot was you can also get some of these Arduinos. You know what mm-hmm. Arduinos are? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what this guy is. He, okay. he, he he's Sonoff. He is literally an on-off switch. I take the power, I plug it in one side, I have it come out the other side. So I like I like I take a lamp and sl- cut the cord and then. Stuff it, things in. I can also flash it, put prep it up. You can, and also with Samsung Smart Things and all this, you can tell you, uh, if you become a, um, a developer for it, which is mm-hmm. not hard to do. You can start prepping a lot of these little things, or like this sewn off, and just have it work with your system. This is works through wireless and all that. So like, oh yeah, turn, I'm gonna work on it on Christmas lights and all that. Okay. So like, hey, turn it on, turn it off, you know. Um, some of the stuff just works. Like some of the sonoff stuff just works with has an app that you can do if you don't want to do anything else. If you don't want to flash it, if you want to flash it, then you can do so much more. Uh, yeah, that's that's why I was like, hey, look at this thing. It's it's a lot of fun. And the great thing about this is this little guy is like six or seven bucks. Yeah, that is really cool. So, it, depending on how much, because some of them can get expensive. Some of these devices can get expensive. Mm-hmm. Some of them can get expensive really fast. For the most part, though, they don't seem too bad, because even when all the stuff was coming out, usually you do face that, like, it's the elite status or, like, the hardcore yeah. tech people. But a lot of these with, like, the home stuff, I don't really remember the period where they were, like, yeah, you can get your Alexa for like five hundred dollars. <laughs> like it's always been like I don't remember when they were more than fifty. Like I was just at least when I started seeing ads, it's like starting at forty nine. I was like, hey, that's not bad. Oh, see, so I guess when you get something because that was like the, the, with the minis because they were like one fifty, two hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. Because even the home, like during the holiday season, you're gonna find it for like seventy five dollars. Yeah. 
not even hard to do right now. If you look it up, like every time I see, oh, get it for a hundred dollars. It's a good deal. No, find it for seventy-five, mm-hmm. maybe seventy-nine on the high end. It's not hard to find Google Home for seventy-five dollars. Mm-hmm. And that, that's the big one. What's great about the Google Home and like the uh, uh, you know the Echo, the main Echo, is they have speakers in them. They're decent. The minis don't, aren't quite near, not quite as loud. Okay. But, you know, depending on what you're using it for. And even, like, I've played music out of my Echo Dot. It's not terrible. Yeah. Well, and especially if you're just kind of, like, entertaining. Because yeah. I have, like, the little Bluetooth speaker and stuff, too. And exactly. it's, like, perfect for being in the shower. I just, like, my phone connects to it. Or yeah. just playing board games or in the background. Like, I wouldn't use it when I'm, like, playing the guitar or anything. Because you can't keep up with you that. You can still connect your Bluetooth to this device. Yeah. Permanently attached. Or have it wired in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you're just like, yeah. yeah, so that's pretty cool. No, I don't. Oh, but yeah, you uh, a lot of the sensors though, like um, the uh, plugs, they're like thirty bucks. Okay. So the fact that you can get these little things that you could splice in or work in between for like, you know, dollars, mm-hmm. it makes it if you're willing to invest the time, I, or, or uh, you know, or into and you know, basically inventing, like almost, yeah, like you can get a little Arduino. And then a motion sensor that you plug into it. A super simple thing. You're going to, and then three, yeah, if you want 3D print a nice pretty case for it, you're out like 10 bucks, maybe, you know, 20 on the high end. Mm-hmm. And it's yours. And that's the other thing also is you are now in charge of the updates for this thing. You are now in charge of the back doors of this. So there is that. But on the other side is when is it going to stop being updated? When you decide to stop updating it, yeah. <laughs> but you know, and you made this yourself, yeah, so you can build your own from the ground up. That if is you don't, cool. um, uh, one thing I do like about Samsungs is I can remote in. I I don't have to build a security system or build a firewall as much to get into my system. Samsung already did that for me. That does give you good uh, snob cred, though, if you program your own. It's oh, like there, the hips, there, there's the some. smart house people. You're <laughs> yes. like, look what mine did. <laughs> there's some of that. Like, yes. Where can I buy that? It's like, I don't know, because I made it. I made it. Yeah. <laughs> you can buy it from me. 50 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at those colors. Not getting mm. anywhere else. <laughs> so that's, yeah, that's yeah. pretty cool. I'm enjoying Yeah. And then, what else? Oh. We should talk about the movie we watched. Okay, yeah, with with last minutes of all after mm-hmm. all the smart things. Yeah, we we actually did TLDR the smart things. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the Internet of Things. Mm-hmm. So wait, what is that movie called again? <laughs> I know it's like I don't remember. I think it has like some friends. Yeah, some super friends. Are they, they're, so they are <laughs> friends that are super. Okay, yeah. <laughs> they're all the super friends. Hey, hanging out, super best friends. Ooh, oh yeah. No spoilers. Still too new. That's right. Go watch it though. Go watch. Go watch Super Friends the movie. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's the only spoiler. Is like what were once strangers, super strangers, <laughs> they become super friends. Yes. <laughs> and that's all you need to know about the movie. Actually, they did not say Justice League once in the movie. That's true. Yeah, you know, usually that's always the fun joke. It's like they said the name of the movie. Mm-hmm. I did. They did not. They they almost did. There was a couple times. Yeah, came they close. were trying to <laughs> say it. They they hinted at stuff, but it's like, what are you calling this ragtag gang? Oh. <laughs> yeah, what'd you think though? I enjoyed it. I'm gonna watch it a second time. No, me just too. To absolutely, to make again. sure I'm not. I think they're heading the right direction. They're doing a great job. I I thought that. I do think that. I don't get I after it was after I was like yes whatever that I saw all the hate I'm like the the movie critics I haven't even read what they hate I just saw the scores I'm like I know I like Batman v Superman I admit after I sat back and yeah. kind of like thought about it, I'm like I get this this is not the greatest movie ever this is not a terrible movie this is an okay movie mm-hmm. I get it. Justice League I don't get it. No, I don't get it either, because, I mean, the only thing I could see is that... But I feel like even that was kind of a made-up scenario, because they talked about, like, I heard about the thing where Warner Brothers said, hey, this movie needs to be, like, two hours, including credits, period. Like, make it work. And then I feel like that was an excuse for everybody to be like, oh, there's these pacing issues and other things, too. And it, and it's like, yeah, yeah. It, it left me kind of feeling like if they came out with an extended version of this, 
yeah, I'll buy it and watch it. But I don't, I didn't feel like, the movie didn't feel like there was huge holes missing. Yeah. It still made sense. Like, people came in fast, but I mean, I, I don't know. I think back to like a lot of Marvel movies and it's, and it's kind of like, I don't know. They they had the reverse because even the Marvel movies are kind of doing that too because they did set the standard where it was like you get your own movie, mm-hmm. then we bring you together. But that was really kind of like a phase one deal because like with Civil War, they did the same thing too where Black Panther just kind of shows up. Yeah. They don't really develop much. He's cool and everything and then he gets his movie. And so that's what this movie is is that you get just, um the non-spoilers from the trailer and stuff. You obviously have Flash and Aquaman mm-hmm. who... Uh, and Cyborg. Yeah, and Cyborg, who really hadn't been in any movies before. But um, characters that don't need origin stories. Yeah. We don't need an origin story for Flash. Mm-hmm. We know Because the TV show is done well enough, we understand who he is. He's going to get his own mo- movie. He's probably going to get an origin story. Mm-hmm. They explain stuff. We understood it, I felt like. I like, I don't, you don't have to be the mega nerd to get into it. Aquaman, yeah. I heard people who were hating on, uh, hating on Aquaman. I'm like, no, I like why? Him. I know. I, I don't really... Re- that guy was a Jason Momoa was awesome. Yeah, <laughs> and he was like a really clever take too, because that was always the funny jokes where he's like the bad boy Aquaman, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, he is. But I mean, like one of the reasons Aquaman had a hard time like getting his own movies because people view him as just like the super lame character. They're yes. like, no one wants to watch a movie with the guy with that. But I'm like, I like, I don't know. I watched this movie, and that's what I thought. Is I was like. I want to see the Flash movie. I mm-hmm. want to see the Aquaman movie because that's coming out next. I did love, well, the little small spoiler, but it's Superman when Bruce is like, so you talk to fish, right? Right? Yeah. You, you, <laughs> right. You talk to fish. fish. <laughs> and you know, maybe that's some of the things that made it so, you know, like Aquaman's so much of like, oh, you're just a, you're super powerful. You talk to fish. And it, you know, he explains it mm-hmm. and, you know, very, you know, quickly and everything, but it's enough. Like, I don't need detailed explanation on why. You know, how does the speed force work? Yeah, and it didn't make you confusing because I don't even know tons of the details. Like, I do know more because I like DC way more than yeah. Marvel. But I still felt like, because I watch it with people like my wife and stuff, too. She hasn't read a DC comic in her life, and she liked this movie mm-hmm. and didn't, like, seem to be struggling with anything about, yeah, because mm-hmm. it makes sense. Like, even with their names, you're like, yeah, you're called the Flash because you run fast. Yeah. And you're Aquaman because you live in the water mm-hmm. like and can do all this stuff. So, yeah. Well, uh, uh, which I I enjoy, you know, I can't, the, where they had his name already that worked. Mm-hmm. I do like in like some of the Justice League cartoons and all that, where they you know like Flash gives. It's the other thing I enjoy. Flash is a comic person. Mm-hmm. I you know like Spider Man is the the person who just says the lines, the quirky lines. It has has fun with it. Enjoyed that, but like Flash is like, oh yeah, people are saying, calling you Aquaman. He's like, no. We will no. We are not using the name. Yeah, that's it. That is your name. You are now Aquaman. It's like I hate you all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, that would have been awesome. You know, they didn't do this in the movie, mm-hmm. but they've done that in some of the other stuff. Well, and that's what I don't know. I think that might be part of the thing too. Is I don't know with the critics too, because usually, you know, I like I I respect like critic reception for mm-hmm. the like more often than I don't. But with these ones, I don't know if it's because they were like late to the game. But yeah. I do feel like. DC had to its credit too that Warner Brothers like they have the A team yeah like they didn't struggle with the MCU because I felt like part of it they kind of give the MCU more credit for like oh they took the time to build up these characters I was like it's because they didn't have anybody like they deserve yeah. credit because I'm like you took a bunch of B and C list like sometimes D list like Guardians oh. of the Galaxy and made them billion dollar franchises Iron Man which good was, for you Iron Man was totally a yeah. level C people who were into him beforehand mm-hmm. were actually afraid this was not going to work at all. Yeah. And they did a great job. And so that's what I wonder. I saw like they had to do that kind of out of necessity because yeah. they barely got Spider-Man because up to that point, mm-hmm. it's like you think of Marvel and you're like, yeah, Spider-Man and X-Men. Yeah. And then like some people have, but for the most part, they had to do that. Whereas this one, like you said, they can say, this is Batman. Do you really want us to waste 20 minutes of this movie yeah. watching his parents get murdered again? It's yeah. like, no, <laughs> you don't need to. And I, I like that, too, because even when I think about Ben Affleck, is that he's, because I consider Batman vs. Superman more like a Superman movie than it was like a Batman movie. Because it was more about like his arc as a character, yeah. and Batman's kind of like the antagonist against I him. I can see that. And I, I think, of, you know, just that combination of movies. I've mm-hmm. seen that, that story a couple times. I like the way the cartoon did it better. Yeah. But they did a good job. You know, and I, I feel like you could have even brought in like what they did in the cartoon 
straight in mm -hmm. and it ignored the fact that this is kind of an early on story. Yeah. And especially where even with the even in this movie universe, this is uh, you know, it seems like it's even like almost old man Batman. Yeah, exactly. I, I still kind of you know, he, he he acts like old man Batman. I don't think he's old man Batman because yeah, he's, he's only like there. 40s. Yeah, he's 40s I'm Batman. like, this is prime Batman, but you're acting... You're, you're, you've been through stuff. Mm -hmm. I get that. <laughs> so it's... No, it's good. It's all, I, I don't understand that because, I mean, like I said, yeah. I thought, like, actor-wise, too, like, they're casting everyone extremely well because, obviously, like, everyone seems mm -hmm. to be... The favorite is, like, Wonder Woman, which is... Yeah, yeah. it's fine. Like, her standalone movie is excellent and... Oh, yeah. She's really, really good, mm -hmm. and so, but everyone else is really good too. Because I like Jason Momoa, I like yeah. Ben Affleck as Batman, and I like Ezra Miller as a Flash, and I like mm -hmm. was it like Ray Fisher or whatever, the cyborg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was cool too, and some of the yeah. and like everybody I liked in the action sequence too, because everybody had like a cool moment to fight. Yeah, people kind of argued like, oh, cyborg is more like the techie guy. I was like, well, duh, he's the techie guy, but yeah. even he's still fighting though. Yeah. He had some really cool parts. Oh, and it, uh, so I, I it would have been interesting a little bit more. Uh, background, I think, on Cyborg, mm -hmm. maybe. I felt of all of the characters, he was the one that may have needed it more. Yeah. But they kind of, you know, with them spending time out with Wonder Woman talking to him, it yeah. kind of helped out some stuff. And they still give you, like, you're not confused because you still watch the movie and understand how yeah. he got his powers and kind of where they come from and mm -hmm. stuff. But I, I like it because I think they are building, like, a really good cinematic universe because yeah. there's secret scenes in this one. It's worth watching. One of them's funny. One of them gives you a taste of what's to come. Yeah. Oh, and they're both really good. I love so. that. I <laughs> love the after credit scenes. Mm -hmm. Just the, and it, uh, honestly, the mid credit. It's it's a classic. I feel like mm -hmm. an absolute just classic DC thing. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, I can't. I'm just not gonna say. It, but it's classic. It's awesome. But the good thing though is I feel like. Um, Everyone I've seen, because a few critics that I really like on like YouTube and stuff too, they all liked it, and that made me really excited to watch it. And as far as uh, uh, maybe I think why. audience are receiving it about as well, so I think it'll do well. Because I remember like if you look on the Flickster app and stuff too, because mm -hmm. like Thor was received about like eighty six, eighty yeah. nine percent of audience members really liked it, and Justice right. League was like at eighty five last time I checked. So I'm right. like, people aren't hating because that wasn't true for Batman versus Superman. No, it was it, they were <laughs> two it absolute was like split. opposite. Yeah. yeah. People it had its terrible critics and it also oh, was man. like a forty or fifty percent. Which I'm still in the positive, like I support it, but it is like at this point too, I'd call it the weakest of all the DC movies. Because I still like Suicide Squad even though it's a mess. <laughs> it's like when you watch it it's yes. still like entertaining yeah. so it's fun to watch everybody even I think, though it is yeah. kind of ridiculous and, and uh, maybe that's <laughs> the other problem like having all this knowing all these backstories they could have yeah. chosen from i guess that's the other problem that i think you know some pe people are having an issue i'll admit i've had a few mm -hmm. like i could have but i'm still but yep. these characters are good because I don't want to see him like press the the reset button because they have because that's what it would be is like all this recast because everybody in like Suicide Squad like Jared Leto's okay like yeah. he's okay as a Joker I wouldn't be heartbroken to get that but I like Will Smith I want to see mm -hmm. him more as Deadshot Margot Robbie's good as Harley Quinn yeah so everybody's good like At, well the only thing also that sucks about Justice League over Avengers is Avengers ha usually has a rotating cast. Mm -hmm. Justice League, you have the big seven. Yeah, and one of them is always on the t on the mission. Mm -hmm. I mean, you are now asking certain actors to pull what Robert Downey Jr. kind of sort of is doing, yeah, but even being, like, longer the for everything. Yeah. yeah, like just you know, if Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman has to be in something. Mm -hmm. You know, or you know, or at least for the big for the Trinity. Yeah. Then uh, past that you have um, Cy or see, so that's the three. So you have Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman. Yeah, actually, seven would be. It's toss. It depends on some of the stuff because it's toss up between Martian Manhunter, Green uh, Lantern. Uh, could you choose a few others? But usually, like a big seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, so I like they could probably add a few others yeah, to, to make they'll, the they'll round keep up. Getting some people in there, but it's no, it's cool. So I, yeah, I don't, I don't get the critique because, like I said, yeah. I still like Thor. I thought it was a really yeah. good movie, but it does kind of irritate me that 
it gets like it's 95 percent and justice league has like 41 percent i say why yeah what's so much better about this movie Mm -hmm. because it's still yeah you still had characters because that's what i said like in thor i loved gorg or whatever the rock guy yeah he doesn't have a backstory but oh, yeah. everyone's like, he's awesome, and he is awesome. He, he, so, he's the Boba Fett. Of, yeah, there's yeah. <laughs> other people, you get all these characters and some of the pacing stuff. That's what I'd say with Thor. I'm like, what about like, oh, I'm Odin. I'm going to die, and your sister sucks. Uh, and then she just shows up, and she's like, I'm taking over everything. And all yeah. this happens in like the course of five minutes. So I'm like, that gets a pass for not feeling rushed, but Those, like me yeah. and Flash and him just being like, hey, I'm going to join your team. Yeah, well, actually, like, even that, more so like in the commercial, he's yeah. like, you should join my team. Because, okay. Exactly. I I I, I need friends. <laughs> I know, that is basically the movie. Is yeah, that he shows up and says, "Hey, so." And he has he has pros and cons on some of them, mm-hmm. but yeah, you know that. It's, yeah, with like yeah, with, oh, you know the daughter it's, or with Thor, it's like, I'm here. Well, we're gonna kill you. Mm-hmm. Where did this? Uh, that is actually fantastic. You know, yeah, I didn't really think about it at the time, but that is fantastic for. Doctor Doom level yeah. of why are you destroying everything? Um, the bad guy. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you you know you have an entire planet over there. It's yours. <laughs> Close the gate. We're obviously not coming back. <laughs> no, it's true, and I think we we talked about this too off the podcast. Is because bottom line for me too, it's like. I watch all of them because I watch. I won't miss an MCU movie in the theaters and stuff too. I watch mm-hmm. all the DC movies in the yeah. theater too. But I'm like, what am I? What do I have in my home collection? I'm like, I have all of them right now. And that's the thing is that it's because I like the characters more. Because Batman vs Superman, that's how I admit. If it did, or you have, wait, you have both Marvel and DC? No, I have oh. uh, DCU okay. only, like yeah. all of those movies. And then the only Marvels I've got like X Men, and I got Logan and Deadpool and stuff because those are excellent. But as far as the MCU is, they're still kind of that's what yeah. kind of irks me is because they always get their super high ratings. And for me, really, when I'm like being honest about it, they really are the throwaway theater movies. I watch them, yeah. I love them, they're fun in the big screen, and I never watch them again. But then, like, I want to get Justice League when it comes out on yeah. video. I'm gonna get Wonder Woman now that it's out too. Yeah, and I have. Well. I, I do have to get Man of Steel. Steel. I do have to get Man of Steel. Squad. I was yeah. kind of like so so. I wasn't sure, but now I gotta get Man of Steel. Yeah, and so I have them, and I yeah. I like them, and I watch them, and so that's that's what's kind of annoying about it is that mm-hmm. I just I just hope that um yeah they're kind of going off that because I did think they won back a lot of fans because mm-hmm. I had a lot of people who said they hated Batman versus Superman and they liked Justice League. Mm-hmm. So it, I don't. I'm not getting on my my personal little bubble of social media vibe. Yeah, I'm not seeing like this as a divisive movie at all. I think everybody likes it, yeah. but I know that's seeing it. So I've been hearing a lot about that. Yeah. Okay. The only thing, Steppenwolf's okay, but again, that's another criticism. I'm like, oh, you have a shallow kind of stupid villain. Well, so does all yeah. the Marvel movies. Like that's always kind mm-hmm. of been a problem with these cinematic universe ones. I know. I, I think maybe they were explained. He's trying to prove himself more, and also, mm-hmm. yeah, especially. Actually, well, they did explain like Queen's like, oh, he's just going to grab the cubes and get this thing going. Yeah, I kind of just spoiled. <laughs> but <laughs> well, you get like some of the yeah. backstory with him a little bit. That's true. That would be one thing that if you're kind of eh, like the movie does kind of portray him as the big scary like CGI guy yeah. who has this kind of plot, and everyone has to beat him up. Like, he's just working on his it. plot as fast as he can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, so. there. A small mini, but mm-hmm. okay. Probably should stop talking about until next week yeah there you go all right so go watch it then go watch it again exactly i'm gonna go watch it again especially if you have movie pass mm. oh did i tell you about that no With, they may ha- uh, okay they have an annual pass now oh i did hear about that and they they have changed their terms and conditions it sounds like if you watch too many movies they may offer you an addition a different plan <laughs> but you will have 14 days to cancel your account. And, you know, so if, what I talked about, like, but if then you then if you still cancel, do they put you on the six-month, like, band? nine Nine-month nine month ban. And that is official. I, I was reading through the terms of agreement. No, that doesn't make sense because your six-month ban, you can totally be, like, the... Oh, you can totally catch... You can just be the holiday guy. Holiday and big blockbusters, yeah. yeah. Nine months actually makes it <laughs> so you cannot get both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that is officially in the terms of agreement. It's actually for the nine-month ban top of it and yeah. it's again later in it yeah there's so when i before i was like i can't find it that's good it's been found <laughs> i have they are changing that terms of agreement too like they originally it was 
We will cancel your account if you watch too many movies. Okay, the day, or if we offer additional plans, we may offer it to you. With the annual one, it's like $89 for the year. Mm -hmm. It So you save money, which means that they can't, it would sound like they can't force you into a higher plan since you've already paid for your current one. Well, and, so they may be stuck. And you, like wherever it goes, I just, I'd be happy with that. Because even if I'm paying like 80 bucks a year to have yeah. it like subsidize half of the tickets, yeah. It's still good for me. And even right now, too, like, yeah, I'll pay more than $10 because I oh, just, just watch it once a week. Yeah, yeah, it's totally fine. So well, once I, a month, that so, pays for mm-hmm. us here because we have no competition. So tickets are expensive in this spot. Yeah. So I so I like it. I hope. So I'm I'm OK with their kind of evolving. I just hope that they, they suck too much. I don't know. Th- well, they have to just realize it's like they're a product of the theaters charging too much. So that's what yeah. they have to like keep within that. As long as like that gaps there that I can just say, yeah, having this is better than when I was just paying for everything out of pocket. I'm yeah. always going to keep it. No mm-hmm. matter kind of how the terms evolve. Oh, and you cannot get points. It's yeah. not just the theater. It's actually in the terms. Of, it's actually a movie passes terms. Okay. So that's fine. But that means if you're getting charged up charges, you better be getting the, that. Yeah, that's stuff. true. So. <laughs> All right, we really should wrap things up, though. Okay. So, famous last words. Uh, so this weekend, buy a PlayStation, get Movie Pass, watch Justice League, and make your house a little bit smarter, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay, Google, call me Batman. <laughs>